Well, everything I make ain't that great. But you guys rule with a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. What's up, design champions? Okay, welcome to you guys rule <laughs> thank you so much to every one of you who sent in a design project that you wanted to get featured you guys are awesome and don't worry if your your design is not on this week's episode possibly next week it will be there so don't worry i'm gonna look at four of your designs i'm gonna get two minutes on each design to appreciate what's appreciable <laughs> and then critique what maybe could be a little bit better in my opinion and then the fifth design I'm gonna get maybe 10 minutes to actually make the changes I would suggest. Number one comes from Brown Human, super cool. He said this is a mix of like 3D stuff and digital painting. First thing that strikes me is the colors. The colors work well, work really well together. Um, blue and light pink usually go well together and then there's a white and a dark to set it all off. Looks great. Um, secondly, I really like how there's reflection on the mountain of the same color that's coming from this planet or this sun. One thing I would uh, maybe change is the sky has a lot of texture and the mountain obviously has a lot of texture. At the top of this planet, it gets a little flat. So what I would do is go get an image of like Mars how, or, or Uranus or whatever planet that has some like looping or swirling lines and then just lay that over this very subtly, just very subtly, um, it's just, just to break up this space here. Another thing I like is this is a really cool scene, and then you add in a little dude. His, his name is probably Mark. You add in Mark there, and then the whole thing becomes a really cool story. Um, one thing I would uh, change is the edges of this are, are blurry. Uh, I don't know if it was on purpose. I mean, it, it kind of stylizes it in a way, so it's it's makes it stylistic but i would i would prefer those edges not being blurry okay but overall great composition i like how like you look up and it really shows the expanse of the universe i think that's very very good cool next up we have uh, a personal branding project from marlin first off marlin dope layout composition um your use of white space is very good your your title here and your text itself are fighting each other a little bit. So just take your text here and, and just decrease the size a little bit so that your, your heading is like, you can tell right away that it's larger than this part. You have a cool line up here that breaks up some space. I don't know if you should repeat it on the right side. Just keep it clean over here. But I like how you put the letters off the edge. That's pretty cool. Um, next up, the logo itself. I think it's really cool that you went with um, a pen nib. It's a good way to represent. As a designer, I believe your personal branding or logo should always be representative of something you do or something interesting about yourself. Try to stay away from initials as much as you can. But that being said, I like that you were able to also get in a little bit of an M in this logo. I think it's cool. Uh, okay. Um, as for the rest of displaying the project, you show the logo a lot, so I don't know if you necessarily need it here or here. You can just, it's totally fine to just have some space without anything on it. It's cool. Um, okay, and then here's like maybe really the only two things that just stand out to me is like maybe it needs to be fixed. Your last name is on top of your logo on the business card. And this creates a problem because there's too many lines converging at the same space. And it draws your eye to that aspect right away. And then since there are so many lines, you can't really tell what's happening. So what I would suggest is taking your last name and putting it under Marlin or something around here. The other thing I would point to for this business card is, I'm sure you, you did this on purpose. Oh no, we're out of time. We're out of time. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, 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 just 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 move Marlin a little bit away from the edge. Okay, next up, but but overall great project. All right, next one comes from Mark. Cool, super cool. Um, an app called Rabe or maybe Rabe. I'm not certain, <laughs> but I like uh, I really like this one. I like how it's presented. It's cool. The only thing that f it fights a little bit is your color. So allow me to explain. This right here, the blue and the orange-ish yellow are super saturated. And then there's elements of your 
app where some colors are very saturated and other ones are not, and they fight each other a little bit. So you can see the saturation is blue, and then you have all these options down here that are very light and um, not as saturated. So it, it actually ends up fighting each other a little bit. So what I would suggest is going back in and amping up the saturation because when you have colors against black, actually saturated stuff looks good. When like if you have saturated colors against white, it doesn't look good. Um, good job. As for the layout itself, I really like this. Very unique. You're showing some screens that are like in motion. I think that's helpful. One thing I would um, maybe change on these is just fill in the stars. So if somebody gives it a four star, just fill in all four of these stars. Just simplifies the element a little bit. Um, this is cool. This is nice. I like how you have um, just black and white rounded and then you put the text below the image and then you have a little bit of a rounded corners. That's very nice. Oh, one thing I took note of was that the black background for this is slanted. Normally I'd be against that, but I think in this instance it really works well. It just gives it a little bit of a, a little bit of a cooler look, a little bit more modern and hip to go along with with the app design. Um, and then here again we have kind of fighting colors. You can see the red on this checkout thing. Oh no, we're out of time. We're out of time. So I'm just gonna finish that my thought there. It's super saturated, but then your red and your orange here are like just a totally different color palette. So try to get all your all your colors on the same page. Okay, cool, 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 but good job. As to the actual layout of the app itself, very nice. Next one comes from Janina. Uh, okay, first off, these are really nice. I, she made a series of patterns, which are really cool. She made four of them, earth, water, wind, fire, so that was the air one. This is the earth, air, wind, fire, sorry. And this is the water one. The water one's my favorite. Um, this one is earth, I believe, and this one is fire. Okay, super cool, good illustration. I like the characters, I like the color, especially um, water. Water, the colors you used in water are super good. Although, I, you know, I, one thing I would maybe test, although, you know, maybe this is just the vector style you were going for, but I looked at your Instagram and your stuff is really texturized. It's almost watercolory. Maybe the stuff you made in Photoshop or something had unique brushes that made good texture. I, I would really like to see these also in like a textured style that you use on your Instagram. I, I think that's super cool. So if you could um, try a, an option with some texture would be super dope. Um, but yeah, I love the characters, love the color on most of these. Maybe this one, if you could just bring in one more color or um, change certain aspects to be a different color just so it pops against the mostly pink, purple mm, color. I mean, the, the yellow does it, but it could be a, a little bit more kicky. <laughs> and then um, overall, so you know how like the background elements here, I guess... Let me take a look here. Yeah, interesting. So I think I think what you're getting across here is these little elements are leaves, and then these guys are flames, and then the water ones are like water droplets, and then the air ones are kind of clouds. I like that idea. I like that. Good job. Okay, thank you. Thank you for this project. Super cool illustration. Awesome possums. We went over four designs. Now what I want to do is make changes to make actual changes that I would suggest to the fifth design. And this one comes from Charlie. So thank you, Charlie. And I hope it's okay that I make changes to this. Um, let me know if it's not. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the white border and we're going to add a shape behind something like that. Okay. Now I'm actually going to increase the size of the document itself so we have more space around the edges. So let's make our space a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. So now we have more space around the edges of things. We can feel like things are a little bit more free now. What I want to do is, the shadow is okay, but it's, it's kind of dark. So what I would probably do is just, just get rid of the whole, whole shadow in general. Um, and then if you look at the text here, the font, 
now introducing the fastest phone ever. The the ever part's not actually the most interesting. It's that the it's the fastest phone, right? That's the, that's the selling point. And then that's why you have like the you have all the stats and stuff, right? So if you say ever, maybe that's not the most interesting part. And I think I have a font that's similar to it called Filson. Yes, I'm already on Filson. Awesome. Um, so I'm just gonna write ever there. We're gonna make it what boom 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 we're gonna erase this one. Oh, then we just need to figure out a better placement we'll just come down to like the middle of it here all right now let's look at your um, paragraph probably just put them closer together and then we'll select this guy as well and remember if you want people to read something don't make the letters take up all the space. They're gonna avoid it, actually. If you want people to read something, make sure there's enough space around that something that people see that something as the only thing in the space, and then they're more interested in it. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but just remember that. Practically, sometimes we think, well, if we make the text smaller, people won't wanna read it. That's not true. If we add more space around the text, then people will want to add, read the text just a little bit more. Of course, there's rules where, like, if you make it too small, then nobody's going to want to read it. But that's why you got to find a little bit of a balancing. It's a little bit of a balancing act. So let me zoom out farther. If you want to figure out, like, how things work in space, sometimes you need to zoom out or in accordingly. Okay, so this feels, this feels a little bit more interesting so far. Okay, let's go ahead and change the background color we have the background now let's um let's change up the color you know what i was i'm thinking you know what i'm thinking some some purple like a like a dark purple what i'm looking at right now is just the difference between the background and this white text here okay that's cool you're gonna have to like in your brain just try to think of not that <laughs> what we need to do is change kind of the saturation in this whole illustration. The illustration, by the way, is, is quite nice. I like it. It's a cool, cool format. So what we need to do is select, uh, I'm gonna select this phone here, and I'm gonna deselect the middle part. If you know what I mean. Okay. And then I am gonna select the circle, right? And I'm gonna select this part. In here, je te me double. All right, now we're just going to play with our levels and make this thing white, if we can. Try to make it like all white. More light. Okay. You can see we're just gonna. So this automatically sets it apart from the background more. We're gonna select the hand. Now, see the color of the hand and see the color of the screen? They're very similar in terms of the amount of color that's in each one. They're like mid-tones, both mid-tones. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just change the hue and saturation of the hand itself. So we're just gonna brighten it up some, uh, maybe make it a little bit more reddish. There we are. Maybe we could we could we could lighten it a little bit. So we'll see. So this is before and this is after. So we're just we're just popping it, you know? We're just popping it a little bit. We're just oomphing up the colors here. Alright, let's see if there's a way for us to change the greenness of these colors. Alright, now we're just going to Get rid of the stuff that was there before. And there we are, like this. All right, now what we need to do is just try to fill in this arm here. <laughs> if we can. We're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna use our erase tool to hopefully just, oh gosh, no. I'm gonna use our purple tool to just hopefully. 
actually. Make the edges a little bit straighter. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Wow, these helicopters are crazy. We got crazy helicopters in LA. You know why? Because we got a lot of criminals. <laughs> like me, the design criminal. <laughs> Alright, so here is a look at the before and after of what I would change for this particular design. It's a good design, don't worry, especially your illustration is good, just keep going. Um, just one thing to keep in mind is just look for more, more difference in saturation, add a little bit more energy, um, and, and, and higher contrast. So when I'm saying higher contrast, this is what I mean. So this color, this kind of greenish yellow, and this bluish yellow, and the skin, and the background, and the white, they look they come across as different colors right but they're all very much kind of in the same realm of saturation and 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 brightness i i don't know i don't necessarily know how to describe it but this yellow and this purple and this white and this skin tone all four of these are very different than all four of these and it just makes it pop that much more you see what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um and then again on the text Right now, this text on the left fights with all the design on the right. And this, um, you want to make it just big enough so that it's interesting and people want to read that part, but then also the size needs to complement the design on the, the, the design of the illustration on the right. So, yeah, uh, okay. But actually, let me know in the comments below if you think that uh, the design has been improved or not. Maybe, maybe, actually, maybe actually you guys prefer the first one. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> okay. All right, jazz hands. Thank you again to everybody who sent your designs. I really appreciate it. And hopefully um, it helped on those particular projects a little bit. And maybe a little bit in, there were a few, maybe a little bit of tips in terms of general design. Okay, this was the first episode of You Guys Rule. So I would love absolutely love some feedback on if you guys like the format or if we should change things. For example, uh, go through more designs uh, and then not not do like a actual change of one or or choose like three and go through actual changes or um, keep it the same but maybe add a, add a minute when you're talking about stuff or just get through your idea. If you want to be on the next time, then just send a design that um, that you've done recently too. Zimri designer at gmail.com. Okay, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.